Dean, great way to start the season. Yeah, lucky. It was a home game. Uh, we wanted to send the fans, fans home at five o'clock happy, and I think we've done that. Yeah, it was uh, some fantastic performances. It's difficult to pick out individuals. I'm sure you uh, won't like to do that. You talk about the team. No, it's collective. It's a team effort. Um, long periods of the game, Robbo, non existent, and then. He gets called upon, he's doing his job, so concentration levels, bang on for him. But to a man, I thought we were outstanding, but it's the first game of the season and uh, we're happy with the three points. Glad to go away, enjoy the weekend, and uh, we'll get ready for next week. Yeah, I, I can talk about individuals though. And uh, I'm just going to mess with that, sorry. That's gone off. Here we go. I'm going to pull that out, here we go. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I can talk about individuals though. Um, Again, difficult to pick out, but Andy Cook is, is going to steal some of their headlines with a, a debut goal. Everyone was wondering, Hitman in the National League and non-league, how's he going to fare in the Football League? And did very well. Yeah, he done well, he done well, and he done what he's about. And uh, as you said, he's, he's, he'll take some of the headlines, and he, he deserves them. But as I said, he's from man, we were, I thought the lads were outstanding. Mm. He, he was, he, he did, uh, the one good thing about players from non-league, that they're going to be used to some of the rough and tumble. That's not me demeaning non-league football, I've seen some good quality non-league football, but they're going to be used to the rough and tumble, and Andy Cook and Morgan Ferrier gave as good as they got. Yeah, definitely, as you said, they're, they're used to that. That's, uh, it's a given in non-league football, if I'm honest. And, uh, Stepping up, uh, jumping the two levels like they have, they'll, they'll embrace that. It's part and parcel. There. That's what their bread and butter is. And Andy Cook showed what a predator he is because I'm sure he'd be disappointed with missing the penalty, but a lot of people would have given that up. Yeah, look, he's, you've saw what he's about. He's, he's, Morgan's won the penalty. Morgan wants to take it. Cook, he's staked his claim in the uh, pre season that he's on penalties, so he's took it. Fair play to the keeper, he's got a leg to it. He's a big lad, a leg to it. He's hit the crossbar, but he's, uh, he's not. Disappointed on his and rested on his laurels and gone on his heels. He's, he's standing in front foot and he's gone and got the rebound. I was going to ask, was there a conversation pre-season as to who takes penalties? Yeah, look, in the first game, uh, it's a question you ask who wants penalties and uh, the words and him came out of my mouth before he shouted, shouted up, yeah, I want it. So that's what centre forwards about. I guess Morgan Ferry arriving just yesterday might miss that conversation. <laughs> yeah, as you said, he only arrived yesterday so he missed a conversation, but I thought Morgan was... Um, Fantastic as well. He did very well. He went off, of course, at the start of the second half. Was that was that just him? Because he's not really had a pre-season. No, he's had a he's had a full pre-season. He's played a lot of minutes down at Bournemouth, and um, we, he only came in yesterday. And I think the fans saw what he's about, and he's, he's a great investment for the club. And uh, he'll do well going forward. The lads landed on his uh, on his um, he's been brought down for the free kick. The lads landed on top of him. His hamstring just tightened up from it, so he's more of a, more precaution. Make sure he's uh, we don't do too much damage. Right, of course. Uh, I've talked a lot about. The debutants, but it's one of your players from last season, Luke Lee, who's going to steal some headlines as well. What a free kick! Yeah, as you said, he's uh, Luke stepped up. He's got a great left foot, and uh, he stepped up, took control of the situation, and he's backed himself. And uh, great things came off, and hopefully he'll do a few more this season. Of, of course, with the win, it, it matters not as much. But were you frustrated with the nature of their goal? Yeah, uh, if I'm honest, we've spoke about it. It's uh, we've ended up going zone for some reason, and uh, that's something we've not tried to do. We've not even spoke about it. It's just a lack of lack of concentration. But if I'm honest, it's not a free kick, and even the fourth even said that referee's position. He said he's he's close from me. He's closer than me, so he's gave it. It's mm. just disappointing. It, it ends up in the back of your net from no, it's not a free kick. Yeah, the the marking though, that, that that's kind of a bit of a hang yeah, from last yeah. season. No, look, as I said, it's uh, that's something <coughs> that'll be corrected this week, and uh, we'll make sure that doesn't happen. Like you say, though, I mean, ultimately, positive way to start yeah, the look, season. Yeah, um, we went one nil down, and um, I thought we we were worthy of going in front, and uh, we had a couple of half chances. We didn't really take the shot when we should have done, and uh, we broke uh, first half at great pace, and we created opportunities, but we didn't take them. And that's football. We got caught out, and uh, but straight away from the kick off, we gone straight down the other end. Zelly's done done fantastic. Got past the full back, great ball in the box, just no one in the middle of the goal to go and tap it in. We, did, we took the body blow and we recovered from it, got ourselves going again, we got rightly so, got ourselves back into the game. Could have been a, a less stressful end to the game if Andy Cook's uh, shot would have gone the right side of the post. Yeah, look, Jack uh, Fitzwater did the, hit the crossbar off, off a corner with an header, Cook is inside of the post, he goes straight down, down the opposite end. But you give credit to Plymouth, they keep going, they kept going, they kept going, they, they're going to throw bodies forward. And the, that's always the, the, always the opportunity that the percentage of the ball gone in your box, it could end up somewhere. But as I said, Robot pulled a great save off. But you, you showed character defensively as well to yeah, see look, out the game. Yeah, look, I'm, I can't be any more proud than the lads I am now. Um, but as I said, it happened. We'll look it back and we'll, we'll make sure some of these little mistakes have been happening. We'll do our best to make sure they don't happen again. Cheers, Dean. Cheers. And um, Paul, and was it just you held on at the end just for in terms of the rest of the season, the morale? They got, they got over the line, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. look, uh, it's it's the first game. We won't get too carried away from it. It's um, For me, the league table don't take any kind of shape until after 10, 12 games. We just want to make sure we can... Uh, 
we keep progressing, and as I said, and that's the aim of the season to be progression. And uh, we've done well in pre-season. We done. We decided on the win. We've got a massive game next week. What's come forward, and it's going to be a massive test. You know, the last sort of fifteen minutes, they're going to throw it forward, aren't they? But first half, how do you feel in terms of the shape and, and your distances and things? Yeah, we've yeah, we done well. We've done well, and um, we was uh, from looking at them, and they're a good team. They'll be there or thereabouts again. They always are. And uh, what we thought, what maybe where we could get at them, and I thought we did. If we just said that final ball sometimes, or that little bit of quality, we taking a shot a bit earlier than we did. We just didn't, we didn't take it. I haven't seen Andy Davis as animated on the bench before. I mean, I know it's only been pre-season. Is that what we can expect from him? From no, now? look, he's look Andy, fiery this afternoon. Andy's a passionate fella, and uh, you, you know what? He's uh, he's quite placid. He's quite thinking, but he, look, he, he calls the areas, and uh, you know what? We're, we're here. And it was an opportunity that we took, and he was as soon as I got the job. It was Andy was always going to be coming with me, and uh, that's why I've got him in, not just being my assistant and somebody I can confide in and bounce things off, but he's here and he's here to win. Can we talk about the suit? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you want? Uh, no, one tonight, is it? no, 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 no. Look, it's uh, it's something I thought about. It's bounced around in my head even even last season, and I think uh, I think sometimes, yeah, it's, it's something that you look at. But away games, maybe I'll go in tracksuit. Let's see how it goes. Um, transfer deadline day Thursday in terms of per whatever it is, you know, loan window still open. What can we expect anything before that? Yeah, I'd like to think that we'll add we'll add one or two more over the next um, few days. As I said, look, we've uh, used a long window to our our, uh, our advantage. Um, Jack and um, Kame are always the ones on the back burner if we couldn't get what we wanted, permanent signings. So we've gone straight to West Brom and uh, I'm grateful that West Brom and more always like he's, he's helped us out and uh, they'll, they'll be here, they'll be develop, but he's helping both camps and uh, I'd like to think in the next few days we'll, we'll all add one or two more. Um, Alan Chambers came off half time, was that injury, was that tactical? Yeah, he's, uh, he's had a bit, bit of pain in his foot the last few days and uh, he's had a jab in it and he's a warrior. He, he settled down, he's like, no, and he jabbed, but he just weren't settling again at half time and uh, he asked for honesty and uh, I know he doesn't want to come off and he just said, look, it's a little bit too much. Before Kins came on, he's outstanding, covered ground well, he's a uh, fiery little character, I know where he gets it from. <laughs> and, uh, but no, he, he done well, he done well, Kins did, but he's somewhere we'll, uh, we'll look forward and uh, maybe add in that area. One man who wasn't in the squad, Bakayoko, is there any news on him? Yeah, we had, uh, we've had an offer for him as a, as a club, we've uh, accepted it and uh, he'd, we've uh, get like, permission to go and speak to the, uh, to speak to the team. So we'll put him on the next few days as it stands, he's, he's our player, if he doesn't get what he wants and the club, he can't agree with the club, he, he'll be back with us in the next few days. Is that, could there be any more outgoings or is it just like ECBM or? Who knows, who knows, you know, anything can happen, look, you, it's, we had a bit, few tentative calls regarding him and we've had an offer, but we've nowhere near what we wanted the other week and we turned it down. Hammer, went about his business, done well and uh, one came in for him, uh, someone's came in for him and he reached what, our valuation, called the lad and said, look, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for you to go and have a chat with him, we're, we're happy with what we've been offered and He's going to have a chat one. We'll see whether what happens in the next few days. Mm. Do you, um, you, on the balance of chances, you think deserve win today? Yeah, I feel so. I feel so. Uh, as I said, first half we a little bit of a cutting edge, but then second half thought we broke well a few times. Uh, up until Robo's save, he had one of the kids cut in, and he, he got good hands to it, pushed it away, and then um, right at the right death, the kid's just inside, and he's got a great hand in it on the near post. But throughout the whole game, that's going to happen in the last ten minutes when they just they they. They've got to go for it because, as it's done, as it's done, they lost the game, but they had to go for it. So there's always that opportunity that they could take a chance. Some people might consider it a gamble to start the season with two strikers that haven't got much football league experience. But on that, display no, I, I don't consider that a gamble one one bit. Uh, I know what Andy Cook's about. Uh, I had full confidence as soon as I got the job. Make sure we were in League One. That was my objective. I still made touch base with him. Then no news out of contract. I have no no qualms in throwing him in whatsoever. Same with Morgan. Morgan's had a a little bit different to Cookie, he's had no bringing. He's been through Arsenal as an academy, he's, he's gone to Watford, and not for his. Not happened for him, gone back into non league. He's not took it, is he right? It's not for me. He's rebuilt himself, gone again, and uh, he's got an hunger and desire that, that I could have gone and got somebody who's played a lot higher up, but I'd question the hunger and desire when players are looking just for money. And ne the next contract, they, they, them two are hungry and they're desperate, they want to do well, and they, that's why all we can do is give them a platform. And you showed it there today. Yeah, they, they showed it, and uh, that's just the first game. We won't get carried away from it. As I said, we'll come in Monday, they'll recover, and uh, the other lads will be involved, we'll train, and we'll get ourselves ready for scumfort. And that's going to be a massive game for us, a big test. Just on those two there, they do look to be like almost like the perfect foil for each other, if you like. I mean, Cook's a big target man, isn't he? But it looked quick, Ferrier, up there. Yeah, and he's strong he's, as well. He's strong in the curveball, and uh, <coughs> I've been on the, the back end of his how he plays is, uh, in the conference as a manager. And uh, he's always somebody I've had thought about, but if I'm entirely honest, it weren't until like 10 days ago when he broke regarding the bio clause and etc. 
I honestly believe that we, we get nowhere near the valuation of him because I think the, the lad will go on.